Well, that was meant to, that was meant to restart. I wasn't ready yet. I wasn't ready yet. How we doing? Hi. Hi. It's ooey time. It's ooey time. We haven't done an ooey in a while. Um, we have, I, this is still framey and I'm not really sure what's going on with my camera being framey at the moment. We're just going to have to kind of copium. Um, hi. Hello. What's an ooey? Boy, oh boy. Some of you have, some of you are, are recent additions to the chat, it seems. Uh, ooey is my little stream podcast thing. Uh, we did season one back in November and December of 2023. Um, and it's where I have a new guest, or not necessarily a new guest, but like a guest, because Owen's a repeated guest, um, for each episode. And we choose a topic that makes us go, ooh and we talk about it. Um, and that's the premise of it. It's just a fun little just chatting thing that we get to do, because it's nice to split up the, the Minecraft every now and then. It's nice to split up the Minecraft. Um... But yeah, today we're going to be talking with Owen and he is very lucky because normally I ask that my guests don't stream that POV so that my POV is the main one that is watched. But because Owen is doing Sabathon, he gets special streaming privileges today. Also, it's too warm, so I'm going to take this off. Hi, T. How are you, my love? Happy 28 months, W28. Um, but yeah, it's just a little talk show that we kind of do or a little podcasty kind of thing. Um, it's just fun. I just, I like to have something else to, to do on stream and it's a fun little thing that we do. Um, and it, what we do is ooey. There is a little emote in chat, the ooey emote, which I might edit. It's, it's, it's fine. It's, it's a fine, it's a fine emote, but I think the, the oohs and the e's could be clearer. How am I? I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad. I'm excited to be bringing ooey back. We will be having picks on at some point. Um... We will be having picks on at some point. Outfit check. I, this is not an exciting outfit today, but I will do. Hi, Papa. We will be having Papa soup on. Um, picks was originally going to be next Friday, but we've had to shift things around um, as he is in the States and may have to be in the States for a bit longer. I will outfit check. I'm just... I, I had to record again today, so we're just in... Beige clothes. It's not a fun outfit day. The weather in the UK is really miserable right now, where it's like warm, but also really grey. So um, the outfits are not outfitting right now. They are not outfitting right now. Um, slay, slay, slay. Yippee, yippee. Um, yeah, we're gonna be chatting with Owen. I'm gonna call him up on Discord in a second. Um, I will be, we will read chat and I will be talking to you guys as we go, but it's not like, I, I'd say Uwe streams, if you've not been here before, it's more of us talking and then we'll occasionally read chat. It's, I don't get to be as engaged as like a regular stream, but I still think it's really fun for you guys because we do try to make sure that we're, we're yapping with you too. Um, the UK weather, it's not even that it can't make up its mind. It's made up its mind. It's gray and sad for all of summer, apparently. Was all my camera's framey and I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. All right, I'm gonna go call Owen. Is he picking up? Is he gonna, is he gonna pick up? Do you guys think he's gonna pick up? I don't know if he's gonna pick up. I don't know if he's gonna pick up. No, no, he's not picking up. He's not picking up. He's watching videos of himself doing magic. He's doing magic. That's not any good. Silly man. It's because he doesn't get... Because he's streaming. He, he's got streamer mode on, so he doesn't get pinged when I call him. Artemis, thank you very much for the resubby. How you doing? Hello. W4, thank you. Thank you. Oh, and for kicking off a hype train. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Oh my god, am I going to have to go into his... I'm going to have to go into his stream. And can... can I would never suggest Twitch hopping or chat hopping, but man is not picking up right now. Eloise. Oh, hi. 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 Oh, man. Why are you yelling pick 
up at me. What? Because you aren't picking up. Oh, so sorry. Wait, I have a little guest for today. Can I go get him? Is it? Yep, you can. What do you mean, is it? No, is it what? no you absolutely can. Please, please do. What are you going to say? No, I don't want to. Okay, fine. Um, but before we do that, we should get into the stream together. Yeah. Uh, am I, why don't I, what, uh, how are we going to do this? Like, uh, am I just going to show my POV? I'm going to tell everybody to go over to you because this is your thing. Oh, and then thank you. They can come back afterwards, I guess, if they want. Um, so chat, go to, Ella. I have a button for this, actually. Go oh, here, you, click this. I have a button for this as well, actually. No I can't remember what it is, yeah. Um, chat, go there. There's no point being here. Um, you can have my tab open if you really want, but, uh, okay. So do you want to start the stream together? Bah. I'll do it. I'm do it. Okay. I'm meeting but a 12 Why you do bite. that? Oh, lovely. I'm going to get some chocolate now. What will you go get? On, one Hi, orange juices. Hi. Hi, orange juices. How you doing? How's Subathon Beam? Joke's on you. I'm always there. I'm always lurking. Owen earlier was like, Hmm. I wonder if Eloise has a tier list. I hear my name and I just go into chat. I'm like, hello. Oh, uh, Dan, thank you very much for the Prime, Subby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a non-raid raid. I'm always there. I'm always lurking. Welcome in, Juices. We're good. I'm excited to do an Uwe. I messaged Owen and I said, would you perhaps like to be on Uwe again? For those of you who don't know Uwe, uh, it's my little stream podcast type thing. Um, and Owen's getting special privileges because normally the guest does not stream it. But I said that he's allowed because he is subathoning. Um, and he said, yes, I'd like to do it. And then I said, what do you want to talk about? What about aliens? And he said, yes, okay. Also, the camera's being a bit framey today. We've had some tech issues this week. So you're just gonna, you're just gonna have to accept it. I'm sorry if it gets a bit frustrating, but hopefully it won't be too noticeable. I don't know why it's doing it. Oh my God, hi, Water Munch. Hi. How you doing? How's your day been? How's your day been? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I'm glad. How are you, chat? Are you good? I, I just had a little twirl bite. Oh, it's really framey right now. And then I will have a little mochi. I'm going to turn my cam on and off real quick. Hello, what do I do? What do I do? Uh, I have sent I you a stream together invite. Yeah, and then I go to... Make sure you've got your um, virtual cam on so that you can use virtual cam yeah, in I've stream always, together. I'm not quite sure. So, oh, I, oh, okay, I start the virtual cam. And then you, and then you can I select virtual cam as your camera. Gotcha, on gotcha, gotcha, thingy. gotcha, gotcha. I'm with you. You're having a headache. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. People How many episodes do we have? Um, five, um, I, virtual cam, I think this is the fifth episode. Mine. But this is Thank season two, so it's season two, episode one. Um... Where's the cam? I'll disable and re-enable. Oh, sick. That worked well. Should I have my mic? That's my fault, Candy. I should probably mute my mic, shouldn't I? Uh, no, it's easier to mute it on thingy, uh, on stream together, because that way, if you want to mute to thank somebody for like- Oh, a that's right. That's what I meant. That, oh, okay, yes. I yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Then, yes. Okay. Turn camera on, but keep mic off. Uh, I'm also going to mute any audio from you. Uh, join backstage. Jane, hello. Thank you for the babies. You look lovely. Again, sorry for the praise. Oh, thank you. You look lovely I haven't lovely seen you too. in so long. I haven't seen you in so I long. I know. It has been really long. It has um, been really incredibly long. So what's the best way to do? Do I like show? Do I show this? Do you show uh, this? Do, do, do. Click on me. Can you click on me and have me as a guest slot? Like, does it say? Copy guest slot one link. Yes, so you can then just put that in as a browser oh, source. Oh, that's so clever. Uh, it's really... Oh, oh, and you're not going to believe this. It's already set up. I've just clicked onto my dual cam and you're already in there. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. And I feel... I feel I'm just going to call this Eloise. I have this already set up because I'm the, I'm the host. I have to. I see, I see. There so you are. Worry. It's you. Um, oh, there we go. It's catching up. I'm oh, really good. framey. Ever since my camera did a death, my... Capture oh, card dear. needs uh it's really well, I guess I'll I guess I'll have each of us side by side. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you're you you're it. to the right of me. Oh great. Well then I'll put I'm really you to the right. me. One sec. Okay, hold on. Where is Eloise? Oh, she's at the top. I need to move her to the bottom. Oh, too far, too far. I didn't help. Oh. I don't know. I'll fix it later. No, no. It's fine. It's not that big of a deal. It's fine. 
Um, what's the day about? Aliens. Aliens. So for those a, who a don't know, topic. don't know what Ui is. Ui is uh, it is the stream podcasty type thing. I don't know whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a Twitch exclusive, though we do upload the episodes on YouTube. But I only ever stream it on Twitch, um, and we talk about things that make us go. Ooh, we. Yeah. Or sometimes yeah. good, we. Like me oh, and Beck talked to boot, talked to boot, talked about food. We, we talked to boot the food. Yeah, we talked about food, and that was we talked for two what, hours. What, what was an ooey food for you? What's an ooey food for me? Yeah. Like a good or a bad? Well, what's an ooey food for you? Mm, That's the question. Well, bad is uh, sweet corn. <gasps> really? Yeah. Interesting. I had a bad experience. We can stop there. Yeah. I don't need to know. And then a good food would be um, su sushi or like anything that's like karaage. Anything Japanese, mm -hmm. honestly, that's not like miso. I'm not a big mm -hmm. fan of like miso soup. Well done, mods. My mods just squashed, squashed a bad thing. Oh, well Good done, job, mods. mods. Well done, no, mods. You're well doing done, your mods. jobs. Corn trauma. See, it's, it's common. Well, Owen, in order to start our ooey, you may recall this, but you have to pass the ooey test before we can start talking. Before we can start I, talk about... Talk. I don't remember this. I'm going in blind. Okay. Okay. Please, could you state your name for the tape? Yes, it's Owen's Juice TV. Mm -hmm. Please, could you state your occupation? Um, going juice... Excellent. Very good job. Well done. You've you worked hard to get there. What mm. is one thing that makes you go, ooh wee? I'm just in general in life. Yeah, like a good thing. A good ooh wee. Mm. Terry's chocolate oranges. Oh, yeah, that's a good ooh wee. That's a yeah, good ooh wee. Good What's one oh. thing that makes you go, ooh wee? Um, oh, I don't like when you when you order food at a restaurant and they have mushrooms in it. And they've, I don't mind mushrooms, but they've quartered the mushrooms. Mm. They haven't sliced them, so they're just like quarter, whole quarter mushrooms. Yeah. And they're like boiled, so that when you bite into them, they have like oh, mushroom hate that. juice. Hate that. Yeah. 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 Valid. No, I agree. Eat, same line of as using mushrooms as burger buns because they're always really watery when they're not. Yeah. Uh, don't no, like it. Not good. Not a fan. Not good. Hi, Ali. Um, what, do I do I ask you the same thing? No, I, really. I still have two more questions for you. Oh, so sorry. Uh, what is one word you would use to describe me? Radiant. Oh, I like that. That's a good word. That's a good yeah. word. Oh. It also explains when I'm in a bad mood because I do radiate a little frown from my forehead. You radiate damage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, final question. Rate me on a scale of one to ten. <laughs> Clearly, you forgot a ten about this. always. Thank I you. I had forgotten this bit. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. Good. I, okay. love that you've, I love that you formatted a little compliment saga into your. Uh, oh, no, your you intro. could say you could do horrible things. You could be like, yeah. uh, "What word would you use to describe me? Ugly, and you are Ug a one." Uggers. Uggers. <laughs> um, okay, I'm pleased to say that you have passed the Uwe test, and yeah. we can begin our discussion on aliens today. Um, what is an alien, Owen? I. Uh, do you know what I? Okay, so. When I was preparing a section of this today, um, I was actually going to include him. Yeah? Yeah, but I, I didn't because... Oh, you've frozen for me. Oh, oh. you've frozen for me. Oh, crumbs. Uh-oh. Hello, stream together. Oh, it's, defi it's definitely Klepto the alien. He's absolutely... Oh, you're back. He, oh, you're back. He absolutely did something there. That was all him. There we go. There we go. Um, but then I didn't know if Klepto was... A known character or a fun thing between you and Luan. No, so I didn't no, want he's to. No, he's our son. He's our son. He's, he's wonderful. Here. He's um, wonderful. Yeah, it's alien you know interference. Klepto? No. Lord Klepto is he's well, he's obviously an alien. Yeah. Uh, he's got these little touch pads on his like paws. Yeah, I like that. And he and he can and he can touch anything and he like takes the power from it. Oh, I like um, that. Uh, which is really inconvenient if you leave him alone with your phone battery or something, because he'll just he'll just goop it all up. Well, where's he from? Um, we don't know, but not from here. He okay. doesn't mind. Well, that's he doesn't good. Mind being that, because here. I looked it up, and the key definition of an alien is mm -hmm. something. An it says brackets intelligent being. Don't know if Klepto is intelligent. Um, from a location in the universe other than one's own, especially one not from Earth. Oh, so he does yeah, well, count. He's not from here. He's not from here. He does um, count. Yes. What? Well, so that is an alien, I suppose. Yeah. But the, they've got intelligent. That... Oh, God. I'm so framey today. They've got intelligent in brackets. Mm. And I, I wanted to, I don't, I personally don't feel like an alien has to be intelligent. Not I think that is, um, 
that's not at all. stupid. I would, I would strong disagree on that. Yeah. Um, because it's it's a definition that has been made ahead of time mm -hmm. because we've never found anything like that. Yes. Oh, so that's very true. Which is weird that we've come up with a word to describe something that doesn't, well, as far as we are aware, doesn't exist. Yeah. It's it's a little different to like, oh, uh, I don't know, cryptids, which are kind of based around a concept of maybe things existing having been seen on this earth. It's like, yeah. no, we're pretty certain that aliens haven't made any contact yet. The greater populace, I think, would agree with that. Although some individuals may disagree. That is true. That is yeah. true. I Do need you... to get like some kind of spacey, spacey playlist going. I don't you know if you spacey... have any. I, I have my usual, I, I just have Sakura Girl on repeat for Uwe. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Um, Outer space playlist. I'm just going to try this. Yeah, this is true. An animal that lives in a habitat that's not native to its own is also considered an alien. So I, I think the idea true. that they have to be intelligent is very silly because I also yeah. think, I, I also think that's a very human thing to be like, well, they have to be intelligent. We may not be able to interpret their intelligence in the same yeah. way. We, our forms of language may not be at all similar. So that is a... a silly thing to think. I was going to say I watched a movie, not quite true. I watched the synopsis of a movie because oh, it was a horror you? movie. Love a good watching synopsis of a movie to watch I'm horror movies. I'm too scared. I'm too scared. Um, yeah, there was like a, a woman, uh, the main character was going through a lot of grief. Mm. And at one point, some aliens sort of like come and get her. Uh, but they're really interested in her because she feels grief. Um, I see. And the whole kind of plot revolves around that in a sense. Uh, which is interesting to c have the consideration of like outer space uh, aliens not really knowing certain well, emotions. Yeah. Because animals don't, I think. Not to the extent that we they do. They feel grief. Animals definitely feel grief. Yeah. I don't know if they feel... <sighs> it's loss. so difficult to know. Yeah, loss. I think they can be upset in the moment of something, but I don't know if they can like still feel sad about something well, dogs, years later people think like dogs feel grief they don't uh, not grief um what's the word what's the word remorse almost remorse. they don't but it's not remorse that they feel it's they if they know they've done something bad it's not remorse it's them like appealing to you if they believe you're higher in the pecking order so it's yeah, not remorse yeah, yeah. it's them being like oh crap i don't want to get eaten by like the the one who's higher in the pecking order that's interesting. Um, yeah. Do you think aliens are real? Because oh, that's gosh. it depends what form you decide to consider them. But do you think aliens are are real? Guilt. That was the word I was looking for. Guilt. Yeah. That's Not good, grief. That's the word. Um. I think I have to. Mm. I think I, I think it. The, as as someone with a Christian faith, this is a really interesting question specifically just because like so much of scripture says like, oh, made in God's image. And then it has major implications if we find life elsewhere kind of thing. But Do you I not think... think, yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, would you not think that maybe aliens could also be made in God's image and this is just the human interpretation yeah, of, of so. the creation of the universe? Because that's what I've I... always assumed, like where they could align is like, yeah. It's just us uh, silly humans being like, oh, oh no, he only that's... made us. And then they're like, oh, wait, oh, no, of course he didn't. There's a whole yeah. universe. I think that the presence of aliens wouldn't dis wouldn't do anything to, like, shake my faith in any way. I wouldn't yeah. be like, oh, that's it. It's all done now. Um, I would be really interested to see to what, like, what what how complex they are like mm. are they just like a little nematode just going through like the water um on a planet even that i think has like crazy implications um oh, i don't know man what do you think do you i think, I think aliens exist They've 100 got to, right? i think we know so little about the universe and even just stuff outside of our own like galaxy and and, and solar system that like i think to say aliens don't exist is is almost like almost bordering on a little a little silly i think because... it's, a, a, it's a bit uh oblivious yes that's what i mean it's like there's no way we are the only planet in the entire universe that like life could form and i know that the odds for life to form and, and to well also the, the point is like the, when people say oh we're the only like it's such a slim chance for life to form from our current understanding of how cells work but we he looks great up there 
Um, <laughs> but like, we don't know somewhere across the universe, there could be another way where different cells have evolved in a different way. They don't live off oxygen. They don't, mm. you know, it's a very narrow mind that we thought of, mm. but even with that very narrow mind, I think aliens could exist. I don't necessarily believe that they are intelligent life forms in the same sense that they can communicate with us. But equally, as I said, I don't even know if there were aliens. Would they A, want to communicate with us because fear of yeah. being destroyed or two, be able to communicate with us in any meaningful way? Like, okay, so there's animals on earth that like echolocation. Mm -hmm. and they like whales and dolphins communicate like that and i mean technically you can hear it but we've ne it's not until modern technology has been able to come along and like properly record and interpret those sounds do we actually understand what they mean and and that's yeah. what i that's what i think i'm like i, I agree any communication system that they have is going to be so foreign to what we use yeah we um, might not even be able to pick it up yeah it's, it's going to take a while to if we do meet them i think if if there were any aliens and they were advanced, if there was, well, I'm going to start using like life on other planets. If there was life in outer space. Yeah. I think if it was advanced enough to be able to, to have the concept of like family and cooperation, we would know by now based off of satellite imagery, we would see like villages or cities or something like that. So I think if there is any light, I would probably imagine it's more rudimentary and can only be picked up by like the naked eye when you're yeah. like, next to it kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, um, if, um, yeah. If you were an alien and you yeah. were trying to make contact with Earth, what do you think you would do? Like, how would you How would you do it? Oh, gosh. Do you like, think so, like, I'm you an could... alien and I know that there's humans on Earth. Yeah. But I can't get to you via like a spaceship. You've got to send a, some kind of signal, communication, something that shows you are there. You 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 can come in a spaceship if you want. Mm -hmm. You'll just choose it. So your your method of making communication, first making first contact, could just be rocking up. But yeah. would you want to do that Bad first? Idea. What do you think you would do? I think any kind of um, any. If I knew what humans were like, I wouldn't want to go anywhere near them initially until. Uh, they knew I would like, I wouldn't want to just rock up on a spaceship because I think I would absolutely get shot out of the sky. Uh, I think I would just start making big circles on the ground, like interconnecting circles. Uh, what I've done there is I've just said crop circles. Really, what you have, yeah, you've, you've said crop circles. Oh, I can see people... why they do those now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I think, I think making some kind of impact on this scenery around me so that it's satellite imagery would be like well, sorry it's just I'm so on? are you an alien because it's just well, so funny that you're like oh how would i communicate maybe i'd make these big circles, <laughs> circles in the earth. on the ground <laughs> um yeah i think i'd do that probably why what mm. would you do um i don't know i hmm i think the problem is you wouldn't be able to send anything physical because i don't think humans but they would just write it off Mm -hmm. like if you sent literally a note that came from the sky i think governments would hide it so i do yeah. also agree that you'd i i genuinely think i think a really fun thing to do would be to rock up on the moon <laughs> just be there on the moon rock up on the moon and wait just for wait to see you. and just wait yeah. because there are enough stargazers every single night that someone's gonna start seeing me I might write a little mm -hmm. message on the moon. I'm going to do something to the moon because that way I'm gonna government, do the moon. <laughs> government can't come and get me that quickly. It's going to take yeah. them a few days to get there, right? I think that, that's a good question. If if it became the most... Um, <laughs> Being like, called imperative... crew coded. <laughs> <laughs> um, if humankind needed to get to the moon mm. ASAP to save the human race how quickly do you think we'd be able to do it? Do you think we have things on standby? Like what, to ready get to, to the go? moon? Because we oh. like, do you think we have stuff just in our back pocket, like a spaceship what, to, go to, go to go to the moon? Yeah. Yeah. I reckon you think so. so. We just have like things like, oh, here's a spaceship we've already know can go there. And we've already got well, it made. Wallace and Gromit built one. So it's probably not that hard. They did. They did. No, I think, I think probably it take the travel time is only three days. Yeah. But I think within a couple weeks, I, I know rockets aren't this like same, but I think there's no way if something happened on the moon, NASA wouldn't have something 
Well, the, we have the space station as well. Like it is in or I true. guess that's in oh, orbit true. though. But like, yeah, maybe they I'm, I'm sure there's probably like they've probably got smaller like vessels that they could send. Yeah, I, guess. I don't know. Yeah. I think I'm they looking, could. I'm looking for something. I'm not just like looking at my other. No, monitor. no, you're okay. Um, the Artemis program. I'll look that. Do you know about something called the Golden Record? Is this the? I was about to mention this. Is this the um, the song that they put out into the universe? The the it's the Beatles it's a, song. It's a probe. Oh no! It's like a, it's like a physical probe. It's currently the farthest human-made object made on Earth from Earth. Um, oh. We just sent like a probe with a bunch of uh like music and oh yeah, yeah 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 and one of them is uh, the beatles song across the universe oh that's cute i didn't yeah. know i had the beatles song that's cool mm. uh two identical phonograph records which were included aboard the two voyager spacecraft launched in 1977 it's cool that we just sent it out there it i wonder if it exists it's, still is it still out there yeah because the likelihood of it getting hit by something as well dang who decided on the beatles i think the beatles were and still are one of the biggest like music groups there's ever been and i think represents such a large portion of music history so it doesn't surprise mm. me um the next, the oh next and also that... human blood great thank you that was a really that. good idea <laughs> <laughs> who did that um yeah the message on it says this is a present from a small distant world, a token of our sounds, our science, our images, our music, our thoughts, and our feelings. We are to attempting to survive our time so we may live into yours. Which is kind of cool. That is actually pretty cool. Um, that is pretty cool. I It kind of makes me un nervous that... I don't like not... the blood thing, though. I yeah, feel like if, if viruses exist on other planets and then get a bit hold of some human blood and then, then maybe they come to visit us and then we've got this virus that just absolutely decimates human blood. Don't feel too good about that one. No, no, I really do. I. The, uh, the Voyager 1, the next time it's going to pass close to anything mm. is when it will be within 1.6 light years, which is still not a very close amount of space of a star in about 40,000 years, which goes to show how how long you can go on for yeah, in space yeah. before getting close to anything, even remotely. That's crazy. Um, yeah, I don't like that, actually. Uh, anyway, so we've, we've moved into space. No, like well, no, that's that still counts because it's messages to potential aliens. The that's existence true. of that is assuming con they're trying to make contact with what we would consider an alien. Yeah, true, true. Oh, gosh. I, yeah. I don't know if we'll ever see it, I'm afraid. I don't, I don't think, think we will in our ever. lifetimes. I honestly, and this is a really depressing thought, I don't think we will ever get evidence of aliens before we destroy our own planet. Yeah. I think we are the closest we've ever been in history to destroying the Earth, and I think we aliens will never... We won't see them. Because yeah, also, because the universe is so big, unless they, aliens are so intelligent, they've worked out how to, like... You know, <laughs> send light gonna... faster than it travels or something. We yeah. are, It's going to take millions of, billions of years to even reach They're us. They're going to have to get to us. Like, our technology can't hack it, but th they, I think, could. It, and if they start making their way over now, maybe. But yeah, like you say, I think we are not going to get anywhere close anytime soon. And also, we can see so far, like, I, I always forget just how how good we are at seeing into space and especially with sending like probes and telescopes and such out there uh we could we've monitored so many different planet surfaces mm. and found nothing well i will say though i'd say mars has had signs of life true true i think i would not be surprised one. if in our lifetimes we find like duncan was just saying in my chat um uh, microbial life on Mars. Yeah. I think that's possible. That's what I mean by like naked but, eye, like looking from this from Earth, we're not gonna be able to see life. No. no. And like I don't think we'll ever see anything that forms a conscious being type of alien. Like mm. microbial, yeah, but we won't I don't think we'll be alive in the time that, that is able to evolve into anything if it ever would be. Mm -hmm. Um which I think is kind of sad. I'd love to I'd love to travel space. That would be cool. That'd be I feel. cool. I mean, it's it'd be pretty sick. I've looked it up. 
there are four known sources or reservoirs of water on Mars. Yeah. Uh, one is the atmosphere. The other is the ice-rich layers in the polar caps and regions. And the third lies underground in the subsurface. It doesn't say what the fourth is. A secret fourth option. <laughs> a secret um, fourth option. You have to sure. go to Mars to find out what it is. <laughs> Problem is, we've never sent anything to Mars and brought it back, right? We've yet to actually no. get stuff back. Uh, do we not have soil from Mars? I hope so. How do we do that? We've when not. We... We've never had humans go to Mars. No, but the robots. I just want to get my hands on that water just to see what's in it. Because surely we'll be able to see if there was past life on Mars if we can just look at the like water. I don't know why. We, I'm so sure cool. we have rocks. The soil is on its way back. Oh, that's scary. Guys, actually. careful! We're gonna get our hands on some Mars soil. That it's on its way back. But I was taking it so long. What? Do when is we it? When have is it? soil from Mars? Oh wait! Imagine we're having this conversation. They get the soil back and they're like, "Oh yeah, there's little guys in there." <laughs> It's just teeny tiny little guys. Company. You know the film where they shrink down people? Oh, uh, it's uh, downsizing. That. Yeah, downsizing. Yeah. They've downsized on Mars. <laughs> um, oh, man, that does worry me a little. I was kind of hoping that the answer was going to be we haven't got any back yet and there's no plans to, or yeah, we've already got it back and there's and nothing And it's in fine. It. As yeah, well, and not also like, it's not. Oh, it's in the your near future, like within the next couple of years. I'm kind trying of thing. to look. I can't see it. Um, Have we got any soil back from Mars? So far, no samples have been returned. Mars has been shown to be inhospitable, and that changed our view of a potential form of contamination. How likely it is that we'd contaminate Mars? In our mind, the extreme environment of Mars has decreased the odds that there is life on the surface. But the fact that Mars meteorites are landing on Earth all the time does suggest that we have little to worry about in terms of, like, okay. contamination of our soil. However, we don't know for sure, so we'll take all precautions and keep Mars material contained until we know that they are safe. So they'd have to be sterilized. But then my question is, if they have to be sterilized, are you not then risking the chance of destroying yeah. potential life on surely, it anyway? Surely you can't sterilize. I guess you kind of have to for the good of humankind we can't just pop one of those bad boys open and just huff it like a bad idea to just go around smelling mars soil oh uh, okay so i've had a look yeah so someone in the chat has just said like any mars stuff that has been to earth has come from meteorites so it's already been burnt up in the like ozone yeah. layer so the, ro the rovers that are currently there have stashed or cached a group of samples for later retrieval and study um it may be cheaper to just build a prefab lab in space like ship for when are we going to mars <laughs> i want to go to mars i wonder if we do ever find life and it's intelligent whether they will look at us in the same way that humans look at dogs a sort of like oh sweet look at you you're quite a sweet little thing aren't you you dumb incapable of feeling the emotions that we can feel kind of thing are you good what was that what was wrong with that what is oh yeah get rid of that there's just that? a really like solid bit of red bean paste in that mochi like not oh. pleasant solid oh it's just like a like a concentrated amount i'm oh, done with that now <laughs> um, um yeah what was i saying oh, um no. mars stuff yeah i don't know i um oh yeah i wonder if aliens will look at us and think that we are like, oh probably gods. if they're intelligent so? yeah i think if well because realistically if they've been able to get to us, our tech would be so primitive oh, to them. Like, God. we would look stupid. And it's going to be so bad. And it also would... the fact that I'm assuming if their tech is that good, either their wars are 10 times worse or they've worked yeah. out how to treat each other properly. And they'll probably yeah. look at us at war all the time and think, yeah, it's like, Jesus, it's like a bunch of toddlers. That's what a lot of uh, sci-fi stuff, like, called a result. Anytime that there's aliens that aren't war-centric, they look at Earth being like, no, they're too... Violent. Yeah. 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 Um Do you think do you think the government has hidden evidence of aliens? No. Or do you think because some people are adamant. Because I mean that's mean? the whole thing. Area people think Area 51 is where there is evidence of aliens. I would and the love government to talk to someone who's worked in Area 51 on their deathbed so they yeah. can share that. I would love to be like what was there anything there? And then to confirm my suspicion, they go, no, it was literally just a like military base. There's, I promise you there's nothing. Well, because apparently it is. I mean, apparently they have, they have 
Well, it's there have been UFO sightings there and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm looking up. And a UFO is a... Uh, it, it is a military base, object. but it's a very, very, very secretive. Um, it's a test yeah, and trading know. range. Um... And I think it's become party. synonymous with aliens because they test... Oh, I've frozen again. I've frozen for oh. me this time. Oh, oh, you're, you're coming back. You're moving on mine. I'm going to turn my camera on off. Okay. And <laughs> turning it on is appearing to be a problem. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm gonna open up L's chat so I can talk to L's chat as well. No, we oh? no, I pressed Where the button too many you? times. There we are. Oh, we're very far away now. Oh, are you? Oh, you are. Yes. Oh, you've done it way better than I have. You're really clever. What do you mean? You've got me filling up like the whole side of the screen. Yeah. Oh, you're quite. You're quite good at this, aren't you? Ah, oh, well, I've done it at least four times. No, I just meant like content creation. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I've done it um, at least four times. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I worry that when outer space people get here, in the same way that if humans are anything to go by, we have not treated the places that we've arrived at and found previous, like already inhabited with much kindness. Yeah. Um, whether that be animals or other humans. And so I worry that aliens will give us the exact same treatment of like, Oh, let's again. just like exterminate them. They don't have the same capabilities to feel like we do. So let's just take this planet kind of thing. Yeah. Like yeah. not out of a, uh, an agency of villainous or like evil, but just because they don't think that we have the capabilities to understand what they're doing. I get you. Um, yeah. I mean, I can't, I don't know where that point came from. So um, no, it's okay. I was just saying. You just fear, you'd fear I what would fear, happen. I just fear, yeah. yeah. yeah um, I get you. Do you have any other space related questions? No, I was just, I was thinking about Area 51 and just. Oh, whether, yeah, that was yeah. it. Yeah. Um, oh, man. Because oh, I want to know what's in there. My main question was do you think the government would hide evidence of aliens? And there was that, oh, yeah. there was like inquest that came out that supposedly the government does have evidence of UFOs. That's different to aliens. Unidentified yeah. flying objects are very different to aliens because that could be a lot of stuff that's just, it's the whole point, it's unidentified. Yeah, it could just be like a dude with a balloon that happened to get something, something odd happened to it or some other kind of strange contraption that someone made but mm. i don't think it's alien like in nature also just because i think if there was any ufo people would we we have such good cameras surely yeah. someone would spot it like back in the day sure the concept of the cameras are so bad that people were just like taking snaps of everything and it was blurry but these days we've got like eyes in the skies constantly someone's gonna have it a hundred percent i'm like I think if there's any evidence that there aren't current UFOs is the fact that we now have cameras that are so powerful in everyday use and yet we've not recorded anything of any yeah. substantial like evidence. And so if there was anything where it was aliens reaching contact with us, that it would be known by now if it happened. The internet is far too connected for it to not be as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and I mean also the, anything that's like a UFO over Area 51 is usually just um, new. new. Yeah. Like... Uh, planes stuff like that aircrafts from thingies but um do you know about do you know any famous ufo sightings no i don't i can't say i do the only one i know that sticks is the you probably have actually heard of this and i might i'm probably going to butch the pronunciation here uh gelatov pa pass or gelatov pass oh it's very yeah. interesting um yeah. It, to me, this is more interesting because no one really understands what happened. Um, oh, that was the first time I ever typed something into Google and it not give me any... Doc it said, your search did not match any documents. That's crazy. What um, did, what it was Gilatov Pass. It's D-Y-A-T-L-O-V. Oh, okay. That was definitely why. Yeah. Um, it was so nine Soviet hikers in, in the mountains um, in 1959. Uh, um, they all died. Oh. They all died. Um, but Dilatov Pass. Instance. Yeah, that's the one. Dilatov, I think, is a better pronunciation. 
Um, basically, overnight something caused them to cut their way out of their own tent and flee while being inadequately dressed for the sub-zero temperatures. Now, bearing in mind, they obviously knew what they were doing. They were hikers. Um, but six mm. of them died from hypothermia. Three died from physical trauma. Mm. But as far as they're aware, like, they don't understand what trauma they were killed by. Why? People say bear, but there was no evidence of a bear. And apparently... Of, on that night, people saw lights and saw strange, like, things happening in that area. Oh, that's weird. I don't like It's that. very strange. Um, I like that. It could have oh. been anything. Um, yeah, it could have just been, like, But a there is a theory animal, that it's why would there be no, UFOs. Like, Apparently, were think? they also radioactive? No way. That, that feels to me like someone threw I feel that like in that's there. not true. I'm going to search it. A botched nuclear test. Study sheds new light on decades old Russia mountain mystery. Oh, apparently some of the clothing found at the adult of past incident showed evidence of radioactivity, which was That's also part of the um, confusing. Man, um, no, I, yeah, I don't know. It's not like I'm going to have any thought where someone's not going to have already thought of it, you know, like I don't think people who are in these situations that are investigating them want it to be a UFO or have any like reason for it too i think they'd want an answer and be like okay bear let's look for bear tracks no bear tracks okay let's not bear look for other not bear let's look for other things oh gosh um but what would a ufo do what the ufo just came down and went pew, pew, pew. well this is what's confusing um like several a bunch of them did die from hypothermia but they clearly were fleeing something um yeah, they to begin just, like, with out and of three of them died from like physical trauma like blunt force trauma mm. but there's no evidence of fighting between them as well yeah that's what i thought like one of them went crazy and started that, well like, yeah wow. that's the thing you because hypothermia can also make you go crazy mm -hmm. um but yeah it's very very strange and apparently there were there were strange lights and it was just all very odd behavior but then realistically it's not it it comes if you search like top ufo incidents it comes up as one of them but there's no actual evidence it's more of a weird thing that happened that is a weird thing that happened mm. just like in and of itself just a strange story it's very odd hmm. but it 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 doesn't it also doesn't make any sense i think as an alien uh experience like event because mm. nothing else happened Mm. Um, like that. If that's it, then an alien made contact and then dipped, made contact, fought yeah. with some people in a tent, and then we're like, "All right, uh, I had enough of that. I'm off. Actually, I'm <laughs> off. I'm not gonna do that." I'm just looking up UFO sightings. There was there, one in the it... UK about 40 years ago. Oh, yeah, but it was just um lights that were seen. I do want to say it's crazy that the amount of UFO sightings it, it exponentially increases between 1950 to 1999 and then over like 21st century is like there's been 10. It's um, also very interesting because that entire period, you know, it was very, very popular and just starting to happen. <laughs> Television, stories of sci-fi. We were having uh, these massive like technology advancements happening and you know like i mean there's like 1950s like that futuristic call almost like fallout kind of uh mm -hmm. style um it kind of doesn't surprise me i feel like it was part of popular culture almost um i love the most recent uh 2023 um in january multiple airborne objects sometimes reported as ufos were observed and shot down by military aircraft so there's number one why you don't want to be a ufo coming down. yeah you'll get shot down yeah many of the objects were identified as meteorology or espionage balloons i think i remember hearing about that um, yeah so you know just uh not a good day to be an alien if you're going to come anywhere near earth because we will just for some reason open fire yeah we will just shoot things down <laughs> Apparently there were Pentagon UFO videos. That was what I was mentioning, where the government oh. actually did release information from the Pentagon that there were UFO videos. Um, what do so, they consist of? I don't know, but I think and nothing, video? obviously nothing crazy. Pentagon UFO videos. The Pentagon UFO videos are selected visual recordings of targeting 
from fighter jets in 2004, 2014, and 2015. The four grainy monochromatic videos have received extensive coverage. Publicity surrounding them has produced a number of explanations, including drones, unidentified terrestrial aircraft, anomalous or artificial instrument readings, physical observational phenomenon like parallaxes, or human observational or interpretive error. Huh. Or UFOs. Or, that's, you, that's, or that's, aliens. That's the problem. They're all just like little dots on the screen. That's the issue. If there was UFO, if there was extra extraterrestrial spaceships, surely we would have had gotten a good photo by now. Well, I think so. Yeah. It's very convenient that all these images of UFOs are incredibly grainy when we have yeah. incredibly good cameras. Um, <laughs> really, really good. Constantly looking up at the sky most of the time. Oh, someone said that there's a theory that the reason we don't get answers from aliens is because they don't want to be detective because there is something that hunts intelligent yes. life, the dark forest theory. I love that, which I also love the idea that there's all these aliens like looking at humans and are like, shut up, dude, shut have you, up. Have you seen, have you read the short story? It is very brief. I won't go into it. Like I won't say all of it, but uh, the short story of someone who like whose job it is to sit at this station and listen for radio frequencies and then finally they get like a code and a message and they spend maybe a 30 minutes or so decoding it and then like the message uh decodes to something like be quiet it'll hear you or something like that um which i think is a really nice yeah, oh, that's dark really theory. good a really good, good story um, i I'm don't like true. that idea yeah i don't think no. it is i think it's just too distance too far distance uh, too far distance to, too far to communicate i think that is literally it like there are theories that the reason era 51 is where the ufo aliens are hidden is that it is where the u.s military tests all its new or unreleased technology so if anything is captured they can claim it as a ufo i see it's an interesting theory yeah, but that, i feel like that's just like yeah, but yeah, so they do keep all their new stuff there because that's how that's how they tell you it's not aliens. <laughs> and it's like, okay, so you've just gotcha my gotcha. Like, I don't, what do you want me to do with that? Yeah, like, either, either one or the other. Either we're talking it's about UFOs, aliens. in which case, show us. Mm. Or it's new unreleased technology, in which case, show us because I want to see the weapons that you're like creating. If, if, I love um, the Dark Forest theory. It's good. I like it. I like the Dark Forest theory. I, it makes for a very good... It'd make for a very good film and story. Yeah. I if there were aliens, like physical ones that came to Earth, um what what would you want them to be like? Oh. Think of all the aliens you've seen it can be aliens in popular culture. Like what do you think you'd want them to be like? Have you seen oh, what is it called? Um alien movie. I'm going to find it for you. You tell me yours first. Well, realistically, if we wanted them to be like anything, probably the Ood. That would be cool. From Doctor Who, because they are very um, passive and kind. But I don't think the Ood would ever make haste to come to us. Yes. Um, but the Arrival. Ood are very... Huh? Alien movie. Arrival. Arrival. Oh, I have seen that. It's such a good film. It's such a good film. I wish I had actually paid more attention to it. Um, it's I'm so gonna... good. Here's an image of the aliens from it. Um, I really like it. Those aren't hands. Each of those is an individual alien, but they have they possess the power of being able to make like ink appear in the air, and that's yes. how they communicate. Um, really, really like the way that uh, the 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 movie handles how the aliens might communicate, communicate with us, with and more humans, importantly, yeah. how someone would begin to decode how aliens talk to us because so rather than just like without like, spoiling it, like think about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Without spoiling it, they initially, it's actually the humans that they take everything as a threat yeah. and they are like, we, we don't, you know, it, it really takes a lot of pushback from the main characters to be like, no, they're communicating. This is communication. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's such a beautiful film as well. Um, yeah, I need to see, I need to watch it again. Yeah. Um, um oh the navi the navi would be cool from uh avatar like those blue the blue dudes with the hair yeah um, the navi would be, would be cool. cool sorry i was reading about it oh because they the reason they get oh, all stressed the is because the word weapon 
but yes. it's yeah, yeah, misunderstood. Yeah. It's misinterpreted. What is it misinterpreted for? What do they mean? They think, well, they think the aliens say weapon. Yeah. But what they actually mean is like language and oh, discussion. Like used tools. Yes. Um, oh, that's so cool. Because, the, yeah, it's, it's, um, yeah, it's that. Yeah, um, yeah. Candy, you watched Arrival. Uh, they recently they learned to communicate, but translated weapon into tool, and like weapon didn't actually mean weapon; it meant language. Yeah, um, yeah. It's very very cool. I think something like that, but also I I think that film doesn't end on necessarily the film like with the aliens being peaceful. We're kind yeah. of left not knowing. Which I think is what that would be. I don't think I don't think if we did find aliens, it would be like, oh, they're they're nice aliens or they're bad aliens. I think they would be just as scared and just as uh, flighty as we are. Um, yeah, I think I like so. I think that if there are aliens, that they are much more intelligent than us and are aware we exist and are simply just waiting for humankind to either go extinct or advance fast enough that we can actually contact them in a way that means they won't just outright that we won't just outright end them, like sort of waiting for us to mature. You mean? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, be, yeah, I think we we need we probably need to go through a maturing process before we're ready to. Start I think a, if an alien with... did try and make communication, I think humans would attack. I think. I don't think, mm. or I think there are enough people, in powerful positions who would just go, "That's a threat. That's a threat," yeah. rather than looking to um. What's the oh, zoo weird. hypothesis? Zoo hypothesis. I don't know. Duncan's just said the zoo hypothesis. No one will save you is super interesting. That's the movie I was talking about at the beginning. It is very horror based, but it has got a good like concept around it. We're proper young like ecosystem, I think. Yeah, we're only really starting to scratch the surface of what's capable, I think. And I'm in looking... terms of developing as a society. Mm, I'm looking at the zoo hypothesis. Okay, zoo theory. Just so I can read to chat, so chat knows what's happening. Oh, it's because the aliens are like, hey, we're going to keep our hands off them and we have our own right to pursue destiny. So they don't Death want to okay. interfere with us. Much like oh, how well, when you have... go to view animals at the zoo, you just look at them, you don't interfere. I see, I, I see. see. That, not to take us off topic, no, but that does make me think of, you know that island in the ocean not too far off the mainland of another place uh which has like tribes on it that yes that we don't just we... we've all elected to just leave alone well people keep trying to make contact with them well, and then yeah, yeah better better more moral and uh right people are leaving them alone yes. and other people keep trying to take matters into their own hands mm. i think they wouldn't be too far-fetched to assume that that could also be an approach that aliens are taking towards mm. us, where it's like, when, when we're just going to let them be, I think. We would hope they'd have that level of empathy, I suppose. And Can anyone take me home and feed me and give me enrichment in my clothes? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you do have actual responsibilities, I'm afraid. Yeah, sorry. They've they've put us in one of the bad zoos. It's not <laughs> it's not good in here. Yeah, we got it's our not own good in here. To we're smacking our heads against the wall. Yeah, we would we would react negatively. I think I don't I think, think we'd react positively. Yeah. No, I mean, we've seen that. Like the the military, oh, is that a balloon? I don't care. I'm shooting it down. I don't know what it is, but I don't want it above my airspace. Like if there was an alien that came down and did that, I would hope that the alien aircraft would be able to withstand whatever we throw at them. Um, but then we've immediately gone on the defensive. Yeah. And God, we've shot yeah. them. Yeah, and we've attacked them and then I them. I'll be honest, I think I don't know. I I'd like to hope that if aliens exist, I actually think I would like to hope we are not the most advanced life form in the universe. I'd like it to hope that on really the other cool. side of the universe, it's Doctor Who esque, aliens are setting up markets, they're yeah. visiting each other. You know what I mean? Like I would like to hope that actually we're the depressing abnormally where stones, yeah where we don't them. have that contact we don't have the ability there's also no one around us i'd like to think that that's yeah, the that, case and it's almost like lonely. yeah because the idea that if we're the most advanced that's that's a lonely universe it's a very sad universe if we are the most advanced being that there empty. is 
Yeah. And we like can't even world. make contact with anything else. The idea that aliens regard us as an extremely aggressive life form is interesting. Yeah, I think I think they probably would. But then it also, do mm -hmm. okay, so you know when like, a, like you see these little geckos or little lizards and, mm -hmm. and they go on defensive, like little animals when they go on the defensive or like, like mongooses and they like, sp like yeah, do little are, <laughs> things. Uh, and you yeah. as a human are like, aww. He doesn't like I hope me. That's what it would be like. like, do we think that they'd actually see us as aggressive, or they'd be like, "Oh, look, it's getting all defensive." <laughs> oh, silly. I, I mean, I it's the same thing you be. said about dogs. Like, do they yeah. view us like that? But I hope um, so. I hope that they're not almost on par with us, because then it introduces an element of competition and warfare, mm. like two rival dogs. Um, yeah, I think if, we want them to be either much further advanced or yeah. much less advanced. If they're on par with us, it's it's a competition that we could win. And then it's like, well, let's go for it. Let's get them. But I, I fear if we found aliens that were less advanced than us, we just use them, yeah. not treat them very well. And then eventually they'd develop their own technology and would revolt. I think Because that would be a very human thing to do. Yeah, we need to consistently hope that whatever finds us doesn't treat us like we've treated the things that yes. we've found on this earth. <laughs> Which is like, oh, you're a, a horse? Okay, you're mine now. I'm, I'm going, I'm to, going to sit on you. you. Yeah, I'm going to sit on you and you're going to be like, your entire existence is to transport me around. Yeah. Um, yeah. Dang. I'd like to think so. I, I'd like to oh. think that they have more compassion. Do um, you know about... Uh, do you know about bees, the, the bees in the airport? Sorry, come again? Airport bees. The snakes on Hold the on. plane? The bees in the airport? Was... <laughs> airport bees. So uh, airport bees are a... Imagine you take a little like... You know those uh, COVID testers, those guns, the COVID testers that you put to people's heads and then like mm -hmm. check their temperature? Mm -hmm. Imagine something shaped like that, but you take a bee... And you get it to uh, sniff a bunch of different things like bomb residue, but then also things like normal stuff that would be on somebody's clothes or whatever. But every time you show it bomb residue, you give it a little bit of nectar. And so it's like tongue, the little like thing that comes out, learns to come out whenever it smells bomb residue. Uh, and then you take right, a cartridge okay. of 16 bees and you put them in this gun and you hold it over a suitcase and then computers sense the bees are smelling the bomb residue and then they stick their tongues out and it senses that and tells you if it's a positive reading. Um, the reason I'm getting to this is because we realized is this we could real? do- This is real? The, the re The reason I don't like it is because there are just whole batteries of bees it, and you should see them. They're just put in these tiny boxes. They're this big. And their entire purpose is, I'm going to try and find a picture for you. Airport bees for sensing bombs. Here they are. I really don't like it. And I hope that they, the, the, here, here's a picture for you. Oh my God. Yeah. And so if you ever see somebody walking around with, uh, uh, something that looks like that. There's, there's a bees of, in there? There's just, there's just about 24 bees. I'll show chat. They, yeah. Wow. Uh, what I don't like is, I'll show you in a second chat. What I don't like is the imagery of, like, that's how much space they have to move around. Um, that bee exists purely to just sit in that little box and that's it gets so paid. sad. I, so what, the reason I say all this is because I really hope that whatever finds us doesn't go, these guys are really good at sensing like infrared different levels of light that we can't. Let's put them in a little box. Yeah, then... let's put them in tiny little boxes and... Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that little LED in front of them lights up if their little the tongue thingy comes out. That's, um... gosh, that's incredibly depressing. <laughs> Oh, I the poor like, little bees, man. This is so messed up. What's wrong with humans? That's what I mean. Like, Why, why do we not do see this? any other living creature as like, important enough to not subjugate it to horrible conditions? Yeah. Like, I know a bee doesn't have feelings, but like, I don't know. I maybe we just aware. give it, maybe, well, maybe we should just give it respect anyway. <laughs> 
Yeah, I hope that whatever finds us doesn't go, they're not even capable of feeling the range of emotions that we can feel. Mm. Um, we've unlocked all 58 different emotions and they only know like grief, Ten. love. Uh, yeah, like they, they can barely know anything. I don't like when my dad, my dad has quite a logical way of thinking about how animals react to things. And I'll be like, if a dog hurts its leg, it's clearly sad. And my dad's like, no, the dog is just reacting to like something being wrong but it isn't like self-aware enough to know that its leg is hurt and it's like oh this is the end for my leg kind of thing i hope think I mean, it understands in... pain well that's what he says it doesn't is yeah he's a it, he's an odd one in that regard i think um but i think the older generation do view animals as not being able to view pain as much as we do most of the old people i've spoken to about this really have, have been like pain is different to animals as it is to us and i'm like no 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 they're reacting and being sad and they're like no they're not sad they're just like aware i don't think they are sad i think they're in pain which i think is a different yeah, feeling i guess so like it knows its leg hurts but yeah i don't know is it, so anyway the reason i say all this is because like, you'd hope, hope aliens wouldn't do that to us <laughs> yeah they go they don't understand pain in the same way we do yeah, I think I know what you mean. Yeah, I would, I would, um, I would like, I think that there's a level of I'd like to hope aliens are, if they are more intelligent, just wouldn't subjugate us the way we do everything else that we dominate over. Yeah. Um, I would be fine if they want to adopt us, perhaps, and, um, <laughs> like feed us nice, yummy food and maybe house us. That would be okay. If they want, if, honestly, if an alien wants me to be like their resident pet, as long as it's a good life, I don't mind. You know, call me the mini Dachshund of the alien world. I don't mind, honestly, but I just don't is, like this kick is so me. Telling. I think this is so telling of our of personalities, <laughs> of personality types here. This is such a crazy lie. Because some just, of the people in chat have also been saying that. I just think as long as you don't kick me, I'm all right. You know what I mean? Like, oh god, new to me for all I care. Like, oh, stop. <laughs> Oh, it's so, it has such how I remember to new to your humans so we don't have an overpopulation Which problem. Then, uh, they do like consistently making more of them. You can see yeah. that they went up to 8 billion of them. Yeah. That's too many. Oh, bro. No, we mustn't. Please, no. I want agency. I need I do free want will. agency. I, I don't like not having free will. Um, um, a dog does not need free will. In the same this, is a, this is obviously keep let I, I do want to keep this family friendly but it, I will would, be. it would be it would be a miss of me not to ask uh cross species um like population mm. if we ever meet intelligent intelligent life do you ever think humans would be like all right let's figure out how we can do this yes obviously they no humans are so basic and stupid they think about very few things that is one of them yeah. i a hundred percent I'm yeah, sorry, 100%. Would. An alien turns up on Earth. There is one guy who's coming along and he's just like, right, I know what I'm I doing. Volunteer. <laughs> he's just like, yep, I, I think people would absolutely come forward yeah. and be like, yeah, I'll, I'll work that one out. Don't worry. Um, we are, I think when it comes down to it, we're very basic creatures. We're, we're, well, we're, we're primitive. We're, we're very like, primitive. The concept of security, uh, keeping our bloodline going, and like shelter are pretty much like the main three things that we constantly yeah like the the day-to-day -day life of a human is earn enough money to keep having shelter and food and find a mate we've Those just are like, we have just changed the forms of like basic primitive needs it's just we've just made them more complex honestly yeah with like social standing we've just gone like oh, do you know what these things surviving is actually really hard already let's just make it worse <laughs> Let's make it worse. By having harder. social cues and, and you have to have Riz in order to carry on your bloodline and yep. all of this other <laughs> And also you, you have to have a job and pay rent and pay taxes and also council tax and also water and also electric. It's like, oh man, <laughs> I used to live under a leaf. I, <laughs> all I would have to worry about every day is going to go get a deer to hunt and kill it. <laughs> and you now think, I've got to... Do you yeah. think aliens would have games if they were intelligent? Do you think they'd play yeah. games? So do you think they'd have unlimited games or no games? The games. <laughs> I don't know. I think they'd have unlimited games. Oh, mate. I would... Uh, if we're going... The thing is, if we do meet aliens that are more advanced than us, 
it means that their technology is good enough to be able to get to us within a short amount of time, like light years traveling, mm. which means that they probably have some of the best games ever. Like, yeah, unless the concept of free time and frivolous activities such as that Doesn't don't exist, exist for, them. for them. And they're mm. like, why would we? The reason we got this spaceship that can travel light years yeah. is because our entire species is about simply getting as far as we can in one direction, like in space kind of thing. That's their like one thing. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Mm. Mm. Uh, you got games on your phone? Me at the you alien. You got games on your spaceship? <laughs> <laughs> can I go beep, boop, boop, beep, boop? <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Oh, um, man. Yeah. I don't know. Space, man. I know. It so, kiss, marry, out. kill. Aliens. <laughs> But each one, yeah. No, I got some listed li prepped for you. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, I forgot that you, you do, do this. this. Yeah. Yeah. Kiss, marry, kill. Okay. Is it, just out of curiosity, is it kiss, marry, kill for other streamers as well? Or am I the only streamer who... Are you asking if I use a different word? Yeah. No, it is kiss, marry, kill for all streamers. Okay, good. Are you're not an exception. I don't... I, I don't... Are you going to put these up on, on stream or am I oh, going to have to not, Google I've them? not. You will know them all. All right. Well, I'm going to Google them anyway. You just can. Know. Oh, hang on. Hi, Scott. Thanks for the raid, my love. Were you on 30 day today? Was it a 30 day day? Hello. We are talking about aliens. Would you kiss an alien, Scott? Would you kiss an alien and raiders? Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Yes. Okay. A Cyberman. Okay. Uh-huh. I can't. Okay. Noted. Just noting it. Yeah. Chewbacca. Okay. Megamind. Oh no, oh. I'm technically still on it. Is Damn, Sausage really Alive? That's what I want to know. Also, thanks to 26. I really wanted bestie. to marry Megamind. Did you? Wow. Is Megamind an alien? Yes, he's literally from a different planet. Okay, cool. Just checking. <laughs> just, he looks quite like, you know, like he could be called like Ian and just works in accounting. Yeah, so. but Mega Man is, well, Metro Man, sorry, is, uh, also an alien and looks very human. Yeah, this is true. So yeah, I think I'm is out, I should have killed him. And I'm going to marry Chewbacca and I'm going to kill the Cyberman. Mm -hmm. Thought, thoughts on why? I hate, I, I hate to call you out on this, but uh, Cybermen aren't aliens. They are just cyber genetic human. All oh, right, that is true. You but then, no, but then, no, but are they not? Because they come to Earth. Yeah, but they're made by a human to keep the human mind alive for the rest of, of time. Oh my god, they're not. I I didn't realize they originated on Earth. I thought they came to Earth. Yeah, they they the problem wow. is he make he makes them and they become the perfect replication machine, uh, which are made to turn other humans into Cybermen, and then they get out of hand and become like too good at it. And they like outdo their own creator. Well, apparently, and... they come from Earth's sister planet. Oh, oh yes, they do. Sorry, it's, so they um, are technically an alien. They're but from an alternate it... reality in which Cybermen are created, and mm. Rose's father is still alive. Uh, and then it's all it all gets really weird. Well, I should have gone with Daleks. I should Daleks, have gone with Daleks. Daleks are hundred percent alien. Actually, wait, oh, no, I thought aren't Daleks man-made? No, 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 by Davros. Uh, He's the creator By of Dav Daleks. He is, but I don't think Davos is a human, unless he is. I just looked up Wikipedia. The Daleks are a fictional extraterrestrial race of extremely xenophobic mutants. Whoa, yeah, that'll do it. That is why they're bad. Um, um, I, Cybermen yeah, I scare like, the life out of me. They, they never scared more, me. Really? They're like yeah. soulless... Oh, no, so scary. I think there's a certain thing about them that makes people go like, oh, these are scary. They must be because people they came back again and again and again. Mm. Yeah, Davos is from Scaro. So yes, no, yes, alien. yes. Um, yeah, I, I don't think the Cybermen really do anything apart from the threat that, yeah, that they episode offer, was very which scary. is, mag uh, you know, huge. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I find their very being scary. No, I find them very scary. That's fair. Do you get? Do you but, find Daleks scary? No. No. They're they turned into colourful tin cans now. They've well, I also like... think I could just outrun one. Or just go in a. In a... That is such an I, All statement. I need to do is just find a bit of rocky cave that's quite small and I can crawl in. And they can't get through that. They're on wheels. Very true. Very true. Sort of. They can fly now, but yes. Yeah, you're but right. then that's just making them overpowered. It's just getting silly, isn't it? 
Yeah, it is a bit. It was a bit. Although that moment when my mum says one of the most scared she's ever been of the Daleks is when in one of the first few episodes of season nine. <laughs> is it season nine? Or season one, technically, I don't know. Of uh, New Who, yeah. Of New Who, yeah. The Dalek slowly lifting up and going up the stairs was like the most pivotal. Oh, yeah, because it was new because they'd never been able to they'd do that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, no, that um, was... Yes. Okay, next ones. Uh, that was it. Oh. <laughs> you only get three, and then we do a guess who we at the end. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, well, I want to look up. I want to look up three aliens for you. And yeah, okay. You then. Oh, I like um, it when it's Uno reversed. <laughs> fictional aliens from media. One moment. I'll choose ones that you know. Okay. Uh, I've not ever played D and D actually. Fiction. Here we go. Oh, please just give me a list. Surely you just give me a list. The most memorable pop culture aliens. Okay. Alf. Off, off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, the Xenomorph, which is from, from Alien. Alien. Yeah. yeah. And Groot. Okay, I, I'm killing the Xenomorph. They are terrifying. Oh, dreadful, dreadful. They man. are they are terrifying. They're That's very, very scary looking. Um you really missed out then. Just... <laughs> no, no. I also they 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 are re they're really scary. The concept of them is horrible. Scary. I I guess I'd kiss Groot, but obviously only grown up Groot, because it, otherwise up. it'd be weird. Yeah. Um, and then I guess I'd marry Alf. He seems like a family man. He does seem like a family Alf man. Alf seems he? like a family man. Yeah. 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 I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you with uh, I'm gonna hit you with a couple more if that's oh, okay. Oh wow! Yeah, go for it. Et. Mm -hmm. The classic, mm -hmm. the extraterrestrial, the, uh, literally the extraterrestrial, uh, Zoidberg. Oh, okay. From Futurama uh -huh. and Yoda. Okay. Um, all I can think about when people mention ET is this one tweet where someone goes, "Me and my friends would have killed ET with hammers." I'll tell you that. <laughs> and it makes me laugh every time I see it. <laughs> No, yeah, okay, yeah, I totally but I get wouldn't, that. But I wouldn't kill E.T. because I think about that tweet and while it makes me, just, we would have killed him with hammers. It makes me laugh so much. It makes it's me feel so bad human, for E.T. such a human response. <laughs> like, no, so they're sweet. right. Most humans probably would immediately just kick him in. Like, yeah, kick him. Out of fear. Hammer to his head. Like, I, but he's yeah, so man. baby. I... I would kiss E.T. on the little oh, head. Oh, on the little head, yeah. yeah. Um, and I... Zoda, uh, sorry, Yoda, Zoda? Uh, Yoda and Zoidberg. I'd kill Zoidberg. <laughs> Dude, it's so annoying. Yeah, he is annoying, isn't he? I don't like and him. And I just... E.T.'s quite wise. Uh, no, Yoda's quite wise. I'll marry Yoda. Yoda. Quite wise. I, I think the way he talk would start to get on my nerves after a little bit. bit but little like, bit. I, Zoidberg... Oh, it's just, he's not, he's a bit of a coward. Yeah, <laughs> no. Like, yeah. I'm pretty sure he's also kind of misogynistic as well. So I, think he is a bit, I, I don't think Yoda would ever be. Hi, Dreggy. Right, what's a guess who we? Okay. That's okay. who we. Oh, this man, is it your... works so well. It works, the who we just works so guess well. Guess who we, yeah. I have yeah. a button for it, but my Steam Deck's currently not plugged in because <laughs> um, my computer was breaking. Bless your heart. And it goes, guess who? -y? And your voice is on it because <laughs> oh. I took everyone who was a guest and then overlaid it. Oh, sick. Yeah. It's an honor to be back again, kicking off the second season. Thank you. Thank you for coming back and talking about aliens. Was that the first aliens. one? Yeah, you were the first season. one back. Oh, no, you were. Opener. Oh, wait, remember. hang on. No, you were. You were the first who we episode. We did cryptids. Yeah. Really good times. I really Yeah. That. Um. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Your first one. Yeah. Uh, could easily be mistaken for an old granny at the market. Loves having a chit chat on the landline, and then I'm gonna yeah. I yeah, didn't even I, need to I say got, magic. I got thinking. it with the. I got it with the. Uh, I think the image I I lady. shared yeah. helped. Yeah. Owen Bam. does play D and D. Yes, you don't need to ask me fifteen times. Does Owen play D and D? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Some of my chats like I haven't recovered from we did ET with a hammer. <laughs> um, <laughs> Oh, it just kills me every time I see it. It's like a six-year-old <laughs> tweet, and it just tickles me. <laughs> we would have we killed E.T. We would have e. killed E.T. with I'll hammers, I'll tell you that. <laughs> um, all right, you ready? Yeah. Okay, green. Curvy. Oh, stop. Okay. Curvy? Yeah. 
and the klepto is curvy the klepto and bodacious bodacious yeah. what does bodacious mean i don't know just seem like <laughs> it means like it means like hey like like i don't know bodacious oh, like a bodacious curves. curvy so it's not yoda no oh, you want man, more yeah give me more um their eyes are used to make bubble tea I don't know. Green, bodacious, boba tea having. Boba well, their eyes are made, you make boba yeah, tea. Yeah, the eyes are, their eyes are like little black dots. Yeah. I don't know any alien. That, okay, that, that, and that, they, I, I'll give you, I've got some more. Okay. They look a bit like a pug. I feel so foolish. There's one more clue after this. Okay, give it to me. Prime Minister. Oh, very good, Sl Slovene. It's the Slovene, yeah. Very well done. Thank and you. And good, good ending clue as well. Yeah, I knew. See, I knew that's the one that that would be what yeah, makes you get it. Well they done. look like boba tea. They do like boba tea. You're right. Yeah. They're, and they are curvy and bodacious. Mm. I totally get what you mean. Okay, final one. Mhm. Mm you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Goopy. Stop. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Goopy. Yeah, they're goopy. As in, like, their tummy hurts, or they're like actually like. No, they're goopy. goopy. Then I saw their tummy hurts. Though their tummy hurt would relate to this alien. Okay. Is it a singular alien or a species? This is a species. All right, hit me with the next one. Okay, lays eggs. Ew. A Ew. goopy egg layer. Mm -hmm. Goopy egg layer species. Mm -hmm. From, from, we're not talking about real aliens, right? This is media aliens. Well, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's media aliens. We've not found any real ones yet, so. Uh, okay, go ahead. Give me another one. Uh, at the final, it's the final clue, because I didn't oh, really know how to do this. It just, just wants to be close to you. That worries me. I don't want it to be close to me. Mm. Goopy. Oh, is it the xenomorph? It's the xenomorph. It's the xenomorph. And the reason your tummy would hurt is because it... Because they... Oh, that's really good. Yeah, they burst out I your... I didn't actually mean your, to do that. Your chest. Um, yeah. I like that we. Ha I happen to also, like, give those to you. Yeah, as... when you were giving them, I was like, oh, no, he's thinking about them now. He's mm -hmm. going to find it too easy. But I still didn't get the xenomorph because I forgot that... The, I was thinking, like, its body was goopy, not that it had goop No, yeah, they're very goopy. It. And I. it's weird because they you have the dribble. ones that, like, come out of your, like, body. Yeah. And then... The, but they also do lay eggs. I used to play well, that... the alien games with my oh, that's uncle. That's a really good point. Yeah, they have they have both. It's it's very strange. I don't understand why, but I remember in the alien games as a kid, like you'd have to you'd go through their like nest areas and they would have eggs. And if you set off the eggs, the little babies would yeah yeah come out. Odd that, but that then it's incubated inside the person in the but first. But then they one. also have the chest one. The yeah, it's incubated busters. in egg, and then also it's incubated inside the guy. He gets bitten, doesn't he, or something? Yeah, something like that. I, mean, something I don't. Happens. Um, I don't. I don't know the law behind it. Yeah, not a fan of the xenomorphs. No, scary. Scary. I hope that any aliens that we do find aren't like that. Yeah, they're just kind of well. That that's they're the not advanced, right? They're, they're like, not. The... No, but the predator is who is who the is predator another really alien. Really predator really versus are. alien. Um, what a crossover that was. Yeah, I know, right? But yeah, the predator they're, they're is like the predator is almost just then. like a big bounty hunter, really, isn't it? Yeah, like... they're just real good at hunting. That's like their yeah. whole thing. But they do have a lot of honor as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, big. Yeah, I can respect the predators. Who is your favorite alien from Halo? From Halo? Mm. Oh my gosh! Arbiter. Oh, I do like I do. Oh, I mean, obviously Arbiter. If we're talking about individual mm. aliens, the Arbiter is is has a special place in my heart always. Mm. God, I miss that man. Um, I really like Grave Mind. Oh. The the the. the the flood king yeah 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 oh the flood yeah, yeah. are scary as well the flood the flood are real good they the flood are so classic zombie infection but alien alienified like it is just distilled this thing he's gonna get you mm. um kind of vibes what's your favorite the grunts the grunts oh, i just love they say things they just I, say I little things and i just love them 
We should play uh, Halo sometime. We really it. should play I've Halo. I've got the Master Chief collection. We I also anytime. do. Um, Fantastic. I, I just love, I love the stuff they say. I'm going to look something up. Like, what's the best grunt dialogue? Oh, yeah. They're just, they're just full of great Oh, when you kill one grunt, sometimes another grunt will go, I never liked that guy anyway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're just so funny. They they're so good. funny. Um, do you, are you a fan of the Forerunners at all? The like orange light dudes from Halo? Only really came oh along in Halo God, 4. Wait, I think... One of the later ones. I don't think I, I think remember pretty, that. I think they're pretty cool designs, but I don't think they have much characteristics. No, I don't think I remember them as much. Um, it's. Uh, the, uh, do you remember the Hunters with the big laser? Yeah, the big old, and they're like the almost shield. wormy type head. They, those were... Those were sick. I loved Halo them. has aliens. and uh, Yeah, it's kind of like the whole shtick. Kind of the whole thing, actually, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Big fan of aliens in media. I, I do really love like aliens the, in media. I hope that if aliens do ever find us, they don't use... Uh, they don't use our media as an indication of how we, we would, would respond. Them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Although I would... Probably right. I would I would hope that they wouldn't find that media before interaction. But then what if what if they find it afterwards and then they're like, what the hell? What the is hell, this man? what you were gonna do? Is this, <laughs> this what you were planning? This is how you alien. see me? <laughs> and the alien gets all upset. No, yeah, I, I love I love alien media um a yeah. lot. Um I I love anything kind of like alien adjacent as well, like like the ghouls in uh Fallout. They're not aliens, but they're oh, like a yeah. form of humans that have been like corrupted and mutated. And it feels similar. Like they feel alien to the traditional human. I love anything like that. Um, mm. I think it's, I think it's um very cool. Yeah, I love, I love cool. alien media, particularly where the alien is not like Arrival, where it's not this traditional, either scary, like, toothy creature that's coming to attack or is mm. not intelligent in the same way in the sense of like it's not like halo where yeah. they have their own cities and worlds and we're at war i love it when it's like this slightly different concept um yeah. i think that's really cool and i think I probably cool. more realistic to i say that I as like, if we have any knowledge of what it would be like but i like i like i just think it's more likely that they would communicate in a different way to us and thus like, what is the likelihood that we find another species that also goes, hi, yeah, how's it going? Um, yeah. Like, using auditory language. I um, think if we ever met aliens, there would be a very long period of time in which you're trying to work out what the other is saying. Yeah. Because it's not even like, it's not even like where you meet someone who speaks a different language where you can hold objects. An alien isn't going to know what a cup is. Like, yeah. it's too un like your, your world is going to be defined by, like, trying to find common words for big concepts, like sight. Mm -hmm and like touch before you can even get to like individual things yeah but yeah I, thoughts on aliens more in the aspect of the thing do you know the thing oh the thing is scary isn't it thing is horrible uh, a a micro organism in the ice that is then like chiseled out and quickly learns to replicate human I life and and uh grows in like eldritch ways I, it's I very think... uncanny valley almost like it you is. can you look at something and you go yeah it's something this i recognize it but it's off yeah i think if we are to find alien life or other life on planet it's gonna be micro like back it's gonna be bacterial or like microorganisms and i hope that they're not like hostile i hope it's not a hostile like, mm. organism that, that latches onto something and then like begins to just like a parasite it. essentially yeah. like yeah. yeah i don't want mars worms no especially because we'd be so ill ill prepared to deal with it yeah yeah we would bad time, bad time. we would but yeah well we're at the well, end of yapping thanks for yapping with me it was fun it was nice to talk to somebody for extended periods of time and about 
aliens as well. And about aliens. I yeah. just like, mate, I could talk to you about anything. We, I, that's the thing. I do always know if I'm ever like, I want to do an ooey, I can just be like, oh, I could just, oh, and I'll talk about something. We mm -hmm. can talk about anything. I Let's could talk this, about yeah. aliens for longer, but I'm yeah. like, no, I dedicate myself to trying to, well, not dedicate, like I make sure they're only like an hour and a half each because oh, yeah, otherwise yeah, yeah. we would talk about aliens for three hours yeah. and you need to eat something, some, some more pizza. Oh. Oh yeah, I'm so. good for now. Um, oh, wow. We should do like deep sea next or something. Oh, I your big fear. Your big yeah. fear. Deep yeah. ocean. Yeah, that's why I love it so much because it makes me go, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> um, thank you very much for having me. No, thank you for being on. It was very fun. Lovely, and I lovely. will I will be around in the oh, chat. Will you? I'm always there. I'm always watching. You can't escape me. Uh, thank you. I will see you later. Soon. Yeah. Oh, soon. Oh, oh I've frozen have, again. Oh, I've actually oh. maybe crashed my whole OBS. Uh oh. I, I pressed Control Z maybe one too many times. Oh no. Oh dear, Eloise. Yeah, that's yeah. not so good. Let's give it. A, oh, it's hey! way. Oh, He's there back. we go. We've caught it all up. Fantastic. Um, good to have you. Good to see you. Yeah. Yeah, it was very I, nice. I, Thanks I, I for being a lovely time. guest. Thank Bye. you. Bye. I see you here now. Um, da, 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 there we go. Well, gamers, that was very fun. That was very fun. Oh, hi. 40 months, double digits. Wow. God, how do we get to double digits? Oh, and I realized the other day that that is eight months off four years. Um, and that made me feel very sick. Very sick. Um, very unwell, actually. Um, all right, we're going to go raid Owen. Who would have guessed it? Um, thank you for joining us today, gamers. I'm really excited to be doing Uwe again. It's so nice to just sit down and yap. We will be having picks on very soon. We will also probably be having my father on very soon for an Uwe. Um, and yes, um, I'm always down to have new guests on. So if you have a suggestion, and I know them, yeah, Uwe's are normally between an hour and an hour and a half. They're not normally longer than that. Uh, I feel like that way we get to discuss the topic um, in, a, in a light and, and snappy way. So it doesn't just feel like two, just two people talking for too long. Um, but yes, all right. Go be lovely to Owen. He is still subathoning and will be for at least another day, which is very exciting. Um, I will be back on, I want to say Sunday. I want to say Sunday. Yeah, I'm going to say Sunday. I think maybe or tomorrow and might skip Sunday. I need to check when the football's on. I don't know. All right. Go be lovely to Owen. Bye. I forget the camera's not over there. Bye. Bye.